ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Frostpunk and part two of our playthrough of the Refugees scenario. Uh, when I left you last, I had gone ahead and done a ton of work preparing for the influx of people. We have a lot of uh, basically job vacancies and we need people to come and fill them. Um, currently, uh, I have this station with nothing in it and I guess we managed to man... You know what, it's not so bad. I guess we managed to man both the coal plants, one of the steel, and this wood one, as well as a, a wood thing over here. What do we got going here? And we have 10, 10 out of 10 here, trying to harvest the last uh, steam core from that. And then, yeah, we're, we're actually in decent shape. It's hunters that I, I'm going to need to put a little focus on next. I imagine we're going to be quite low on food. Okay, the generator is down, gathering post resources depleted, beautiful. So let's go ahead and crank this up, and this is perfect timing. Okay, so we are going to undo this, and how did you guys enjoy the last episode? Uh, if you're enjoying this one, click the like button. If you enjoyed this as a YouTube series, rather than, uh, beautiful, rather than a live stream, um, be sure to let me know, and I have uh, I have big plans for, for today's episode. I think we're going to be able to get a lot, a lot done. So, heating overdrive couplings is super good. We have a double cold weather drop coming up. This thing allows you to, um, it allows you to, to increase the temperature by two degrees when you upgrade, um, when you, when you throw into overdrive, but I don't know where we go next with resources, food, shelter hunting this one's fantastic this basically makes every hunting thing require f 10 people instead of 15 and i mentioned we we're going to need to get rolling on food so with this done i have 10 extra people there are plenty of places i can put them but i think the plan uh, is going to be to put in uh food whoops pardon me food and we'll go two hunters huts is probably going to be a smart bet so we'll stash one there and one there We'll need to get some road going and do that. And don't worry, I'll click on that thing before it's gone. Okay, so what's this all about? What do you need? Cold homes. Okay, so I'm just going to click out here for the moment. And let's take a look at our scenario here, guys. Cold homes. So right now we're heating everything. We have an additional steam level. Um, and you know what? It's more than two days away. So I failed this badly last time. I, I went to great lengths. You know what we're going to do? We're going to undo this. We're going to click on this and we're going to say, yes, sir. I will heat all the homes and keep them heated for two days. So before that hits, we're going to need to upgrade, go overdrive, and we'll do some researching. It's, it's going to be fine. Whole scenario is going to be fine. I feel good. Um, so a few little things we can work on, guys. How are we doing population-wise? People are mostly fed. Do I still have... Yeah, we're very low on food. So this this is going to be a good thing. Getting these hunters sorted out. And I didn't show you this. Last episode, I went to great lengths in order to research this for you. Right here. Um, I wonder why I can't do it. Oh, it costs food rations. Okay, so this is the foreman. Uh, this is basically increases workplace efficiency by 40%. You put a person in there and stash starts yelling at people going get to work you bunch of losers and then i guess he's very hungry <laughs> maybe he eats a lot of food no maybe he's feeding people in order to motivate him i would think maybe it's a positive thing um okay let me fast forward for a bit guys i'll come back to you all right this is the point in the day where i would typically turn off the generator do not do that do not do that good sir okay and we have uh we're going to have lots of steam cores, it seems like. Um, I remember that being gnome home. Gone home, not gnome home. Uh, the people who worked here were pioneers. Groups like this paved the way for those of us who dared to make the journey north. It looks like they left in a hurry, presumably to reunite with their families before the great winter took hold. Yawn, excuse me, before the great winter took hold. Hopefully they succeeded. Thousands like them will succumb to the cold and hunger while fighting to build the generators. 310 coal. Oh, baby. And two, uh, two, two things. So we either go here and we branch off to un unlock some new research or we go out here to cracked ice and we branch off to unlock some new exploration. I think, what is White Pass? I think we got to do a rescue from White Pass. So I think it's time for us to head home. It might be time to establish a second scout team. Do I need that? Do I have the ability to do that? 
I do. I only have the... I think I've researched that. Pretty sure we did that last time around. Is that correct? Uh, exploration and industry. Yes, we did. We definitely did. And this is going to be a good one if we're going to make the journey out to White... What was it called? Look at how far that is, guys. That is an insane journey, White Pass. So if we do make our way out there... Um, we want to maybe research the lighter scout sleds. They will move 50% faster. It'll be a good thing for us. Uh, the next bit of research we have coming up is going to free up 10 hunters to occupy that uh, new thing. I took five people off steel, five people off the wood drill, and uh, hunting tactics. Okay, so there you go. New people. I'm going to throw them straight into that. I want to try and feed our population. Um, how are we doing? We got 20 more coming and 30 more behind them. So if we have a look at economy, how are we doing on housing? Vacant beds is 15. So we're gonna wanna make some space. So that means starting to get rid of this stuff here on my bottom row and find a new home for it on the outer tier like we did with these, the uh, medical posts. So that's probably something I can get rolling on. All right guys, time to pass a new law. And I think what I'm going to do is choose the I have the choice between radical treatment, which means 30% of the gravely ill will be left as amputees, discontent will rise, or do this, the gravely ill will be will take up beds in medical posts, um, discontent will rise, um, they will remain a burden. I think we do this? You know what, let's just go with sustained life, and I don't, we haven't had to deal with too much of the gravely ill. The benefits of that is the next thing is going to allow me to do overcrowding. Twice as many people in each sick place, and that is essential. As you can see right now, I have 11 who are too sick. Um, and how? Uh, this should be a fairly comfortable temperature on the inside. It is a fairly comfortable temperature. Let's get this turned up. And we've got the new cookhouse, which means we can go ahead and get rid of the old cookhouse. Let's get, get wrecked. We have one new... Uh, excuse me, one new uh, workstation out there, which I'm call it workshop, and I'll leave these two in place for now because they currently have a 24-hour thing on them. Child shelter. Oh, we can definitely wreck that. Get rid of that. All right, night is coming. People are hungry. I'm going to. Mm, I should be able to feed people. Three days to feed everybody. Oh. There's going to be a lot of people coming in. I've got a really... I just jacked up my hunters big time. Let's take the risk. I usually say no to this. I will take the risk and, and we will plan to put immediately some of our, our new people when they do come in. We'll do another hunter hut right there. Um, actually, you know what? Let's, let's change. I'm going to eventually, you guys, replace all those hunter huts and move them to a different part of town. So let's go ahead and start stacking up hunter huts right out here. Okay, lighter research sleds. So let's go ahead and put workers on that, engineers on this. We'll add a new research and we'll go with a heating generator. Uh, let's go with that overdrive coupling thing. Ooh, improved heaters. Okay, let's do this. That's fine. Okay, and now we need to find some workers for uh, a little expedition. I think what we will do is steal five from the sawmill, and we'll head out here, and we have the wood. Let's go ahead and get that scout team out there, and they, now that I have upgraded that thing, are going to head for White Pass. One day, nine hours to arrive. I think that's perfect. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is good. This whole thing is good. Uh, a lot of the rearranging I did, guys, was in order to have a nice, clean, simple line down here. We're able to go one, two, three, and then I'm going to clean up some of the roads down in this section before I see it next. Apparently, I have stockpiled coal. That is wild. So let's go ahead and... Huh, that's wild. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Well, then this is the first time we need to do this, but as the game goes on, this becomes essential. As your population grows, um, you need to start putting. So building here will destroy resources. So there is a good place to start stashing this stuff. This is a um, resource, whatchamacallit, uh, a, it's like a resource depot. Um, but I don't know what part of my city is suited for these yet. 
I can definitely stash one here. You know what? It's so tough to know. You just don't want to put it anywhere where you're going to be. It's going to cause you trouble down the road. So building here will destroy resources. That could work. This can also work. Okay, so let's stash that there. Uh, this is another thing you don't want to have to worry about. Once they don't need to be kept warm, they're just going to stockpile a resource of your choice. For us, that'll be coal to start. Um, and then, you know what we can do? If we either of these on an extended shift? No, neither one's on an extended shift. We're good. I can't believe I promised to feed all those people. I got zero food. <laughs> Scouts have returned with co too much coal and a couple of, yeah, way too much coal. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to take people off these uh, for today. Get you guys off there. We'll shut those down temporarily, and we will go make sure that we are fully stocked on, you know what, we'll go make sure the hunters are stocked. Put 10 there. All right, guys, one of our scout teams going to step out and start escorting people back. Uh, these guys should be back now almost instantly. These guys are supposed to be five hours away. Let's just see what happens when the scouts get to them. Yeah, it's actually pretty impressive. So that takes four and eight. Well, let's see. Four and a half hours and... 35 minutes. So it does make a massive difference to speed those people back to us. Um, add new research. Uh, let's go ahead and do improved heaters, generator efficiency. Da, 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 da. This is so tough. We're in good shape on coal. The flying hunters. That requires a lot of steel in order to make happen. Um, each one is 40 steel and 40 wood. I think what we should do before we get there, let's try the steam steel works. Um, and let's, let's be prepared to, to do that. I think that's going to be a good idea. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, these guys still on a 24 hour clock. We really need to get, okay. Scouts number one has returned. They brought 20 people with them. So we now have 20 homeless. For the time being, I think I've already accounted for beds for those people. And you guys can go out and get these people. So these people are currently a day away. Let's see how long it takes us. Uh, zoom back in when the scouts get out there. And we have this. Let's go ahead and put this on coal. And that basically just almost doubles our, our potential uh, coal stores. All right, and here come some more people. Another group arrives, I see. All right, and let's take an actual look at the beds. Homeless citizens, 12, but housed citizens. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. It might be time to move these... Uh... Yeah, this road's almost done. It might be time to move uh, these research stations out to the third circle. I thought I had accounted for beds for everybody, but I clearly have not. Unless that go that number goes away here in a second. Okay, and got lots of hungry people. I'm gonna fail. Feed all the hungry. Lord. Okay. Oh, we did have the beds, but uh, 15 more and 30 more behind them. So as soon as the 24-hour clock is done for these guys, I'm gonna clear them out. In the meantime, what we can do, I think these roads are now complete. We can clean up the mess of roads we had built around all those uh, storage depots. Oops, I'm doing that wrong. So you go here and let's remove. I don't think you guys need to see me removing roads, do you? Is this highly interesting to you? All right, guys, just about perfect timing to pass that overcrowding, that medical overcrowding uh, thing. And I guess, you know what, let's get one more hunter hut on the go because we got people here. And I want to make sure we, comp if possible, that we complete that promise. Uh, let's throw one right there for now. All right, time to pass that law. I think it's essential. Let's go ahead and go overcrowding. Discontent goes up ever so slightly. That's a little more than slightly, but it basically means we instantly take care of all of our sick, which is wonderful. It'd be nice if they give me a bonus for that. All right, we do have people uh, about to reach them, and then our other scout team is very far from White Pass, still a long way. We got 21 unemployed. Let's take the opportunity to plow through uh, what's left of uh, this this supply here. Um, they clear that coal out, and let's make sure we got workers on all of this, and I'm going to employ some more as hunters. 
faux show. I'm doing another cookhouse here to start turning that raw food into cooked stuff. And I think we'll throw a 24 hour on there in order to try and feed everybody. Only one of these needs that. Uh, when in doubt, you could pass the soup law, but I really, if I don't have to do that, I don't plan on it. All right, we need to free up workers with some engineers. So let's go ahead and throw engineers here. And 10 out of 10. Let's get those guys going. And then soon we'll be able to do the steam sawmill. In fact, now uh, the steam... Sorry, let's go here. Steam steelworks. We'll go one... Oh, that one isn't even built yet. That's fine. Do it. We'll get we'll get them all we'll get them all occupied, and then with that powered, with our sawmill powered, with this powered, we are going to be able, I think, to get rolling on, um, on the upgrades, which would be food and and shelter, and we'll do the flying hunters. There they should be fantastic. So we just need twenty steel to make that happen. Scouts number one returned. Did they bring any steel with them? They did not. Thank you, guys. Um, and they're going to go escort these people back 12 hours away. Oh, no, it takes me 12 hours to get there. And they are a day and two-thirds away. That's crazy. Okay, so avalanche survivors. And we have now brought back seven of our ten groups. We see the eighth on the horizon. Um, I think time has come to clear out some of this and to make room for some more humans. Uh, let's go ahead and go people, tents. Yeah, 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 that's going to be the plan. Black Spike discovered. It could have happened to us too. So so somebody just telling us about Black Spire. Sorry, Black Spire. So once these people... Do we escort those back, those 15 workers, or do we go straight out to Black Spire? Let's zip out to Black Spire. It sounds like that's got survivors at it. What does it say? Rescue the people from Black Spire. So let's do that. These people are already on their way back. Uh, we got nighttime ahead of us, and very soon we're hitting a double cold drop. So we're going to go from minus 30 to minus 50. Promise fulfilled. Hope rises. You you promised warmth. You delivered. Finally. Give me, give me what I need. I have successfully rearranged this whole section, so we got room for a bunch more housing. That's going to put people away. Uh, we have plowed through all of our food resources. How long to feed the hungry? I still got another day, so I think we're good. I've taken my workers out of there for now. I'm going to go keep this going. And, uh, well, it's late night. What do we research come tomorrow, Flying Hunters? Will we be able to? Yes, we'll be able to. So let's go start there. We have our advanced steam steelworks here. Same thing here. I say we cram that full of engineers. We make sure this is crammed full of workers. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And all the all the hunter huts are occupied, and we're just getting by on coal right now. Um, I, I've been I have people fast gathering from here, and I'm a little low on this sawmill, so I could get that running, or I could reboot up one of these two coal mines. Um, but I think we're going to see how we do. We'll get a coal mine going shortly. Whew. Okay. Scouts have arrived at... Oh. White Pass. All right. So let's explore. Led by fools. Shouts and cheers break through the howling wind as we descend it from the pass into the small camp. Are you from the city? Asks one of the refugees. <laughs> Relieved by our answer, he tells us about a group of of know-all engineers who led them the wrong direction. So here's the thing. We can escort them back. 37 men, 10 engineers. I'm going to opt to send them back. My theory is this. They have a long straight line to go. Uh, my other scout team may be able to go help them. I may be able to get them on the way back, but I am so far from home. It doesn't make sense for me to not take advantage of this now that I have discovered new locations. So Frozen Pond... I say we go discover that, and we'll see what is waiting out at Frozen Pond. In worst case scenario, we meet up with them, escort them back. Um, these guys are going to be doing it for the people at Black Spire. Unless they send the Black Spire people back, come out and meet these guys. Got lots of options. Um, I'm glad we got two scout teams on the go right now. Um, and, yeah. Got a few extra people here helping with some construction around town. What do I do with my five extra workers? What are they? Workers? Workers? Let's, let's put them on this. 
And how are these coal piles doing? Almost depleted. That's perfect. That's going to open up room in the third ring for us. Scouts have reached Black Spire and Explore. Same deal here. So we got 37 workers, exhausted travelers. This group of our people got lost after an avalanche separated, exhausted. They stopped to recover, but their supplies are running out. On their way, they saw a large, peculiar structure buried in the snow. They have no idea what it is other than it's man-made. So same, same conundrum. Send them back and take advantage of being out here. What is the, the structure? Well, let's hold on a sec, and we'll, we'll fast forward a second. All right, feed all the hungry. We are on the verge of doing that, and let's see. Is there something out here? I wonder what, they, what they're talking about, a thing, a, th a large thing out in the snow man-made. Okay, so let's find these people then. Let's go to these survivors, and let's escort. Do we escort them back? Maybe, maybe we go out to this furthest band. That's a big group, and we escort them back. I bet they get back first. We'll see how fast the uh, the scouts are. Um, all right, we have a lot of people incoming, so we got to get... Let's go ahead and make sure we got uh, the tech going. Workshops times... Let's max out on workshops for the moment, and I want to either... I want to get researched uh, generator range 3 or something like that. It's going to get really cold here soon. Um so yeah so 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 we'll be fine uh we'll be fine okay and now let's hit uh let's hit overdrive so what does overdrive do for us leaves us in yellow okay it's only one day of this so come di- Okay, so work time. I'm going to hit steam level 2. And I'm going to kill the overdrive. Scouts have reached frozen pond. Okay. Okay, what is that frozen pond? What is this worth it? Okay, it is a it is a path that opens up further exploration. Aircraft wreck snowcat. Uh, let's get the snowcat. We'll get the aircraft wreck on the way back in case this is the last thing in line. I feel like there was stuff all the way out here eventually, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So this is going to be what? Groups groups 8, 9, and 10, right? Uh, await the incoming groups. 8. So that's 9. Sorry. And then neither of these count. These are These are rescue groups. So there's still a 10th group coming. So we really got to get the housing sorted. Uh, let's go ahead and go tents. And I think you can get by with tents with the right with the right other stuff. So here's the thing. On the second ring, things will not fit properly. So this is the problem. We need a cookhouse on the inner ring. So let's go ahead and go food cookhouse and we'll tuck one. Lord, 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 Lord. You know what? I gotta, I gotta undo some work that we just did. And I'm gonna undo a cookhouse over here because they are too cold to operate right now. And so are, so are these. And we're, you know what? We shouldn't be, we shouldn't be researching this. Let's get the heaters on everywhere we can. We gotta get that generator range three. This is a silly thing to be researching. I gotta get some, some way to feed the, this the hungry we got one day five hours we should be okay should be okay mild frostbite somebody became gravely ill yeah probably working out in one of these crazy dumps uh get this stuff cranked up both of my coal plants are empty right now which is probably foolish yeesh i can't believe how bad things are right now guys okay Flying hunters researched. Okay. And I gotta build a cookhouse that gets access to the inner circle. Now I can't do that, can I? Without really messing up everything. Okay, so what do we got out here? I, uh, let's go heating. 
I think I need the improved heaters. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And you know what? We'll do a cookhouse just for just for a day. Food. Cookhouse. Go right here. We'll dismantle this one on the outer tier. And we got a lot of sick people, including gravely ill. Until that gets re researched. Maybe go health medical post. And I can't squeeze that in there at all. Okay, that's fine. The sick are sick. And they're going to have to wait. Okay, this is done. Go out here. Dismantle this. That means we've gotten all the coal. Uh, we're going to have to put those workers to work. So let's reactivate this. Boom. Max that out. And we're going to switch over our one little storage thing that is right here. This thing. We're going to switch it from coal to wood because it looks like that's the thing that we're about to max out on. And we probably have time to rest. Okay. So now we go to the inside here and we go overdrive. And that's going to bring us to super comfy. So let's go overdrive on this. Steam level one. I think that's the way to go. Um, let's crank heaters. Doesn't make a difference, does it? We'll crank heaters and we're going to throw some 24 hour shifts on research. I think if this isn't done, this won't be done. 24 hour. And we'll do it on two of them because two of them really makes a difference. Uh, let's go here. All right, and I gotta find some engineers now. Uh, workers out here, probably one of these plants. Yes. And I'll put some engineers on this. We'll crank that. You know what, let's hold off on it. Let's hold off. Uh, new, new law. Lord, guys, I'm stressing right now. Uh, so we got potential. Fighting arena. This is good to make people happy. Soup will feed more people. Yeah, let's pass the soup law. Let's try and get the... Let's try and get the boost from... Let's make sure this is manned. Serving soup. And... Uh, we're gonna put you on a 24-hour, too. Ha! Ah, there goes that discontent. I think we should manage to solve everything by doing it this way. And we just need to f worry about the sick after this. Ah, all right. Improved heaters and we can get the sick back to work. Uh, so I got to recover a few engineers. Once again, let's shut down the sawmill for now. And we will go five workers here. And we're going to steal a few engineers from one of these spots. This one? Yeah. Because we're in good shape on wood. Okay, so let's do that. And let's get this reopened. Heaters on. We'll look after the sick. And since we already got a 24-hour cycle, we might as well make the most of what we got. Outpost Depot Factory. Coal mining optimization would be good. We've got these new healthcare insulation. Clearly, that would be valuable to us. Uh, although the infirmary. Yeah, let's go. Let's go infirmary. And uh, that is going to. That is. We're going to use that and get rid of these crappy old medical posts here shortly. Uh, but all the sick are, are cared for. We need... I think I think I can get a new food, uh, a new cookhouse going. Right there. And I think that'll work for us. Okay, we got scouts have arrived at a location. The snowcat, explore it. Two more steam cores, and that looks like end of the line, so let's come back for the aircraft wreck. Alright, and scouts, you, what are you guys doing? You with a group of people? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You're beating both these groups back. That's crazy. They went for the far out group, got them both back. The, the fast scouts make a big difference for bringing the humans to your place, guys. If I got any tips and tricks for you, that might be one of them. All right, a new arrival, Lost Refugees. This is the, the White Pass crew. They are back, and our scouts are going to head out for... Uh, head, head out for these people. 36. Oh, we are about to have a refugee fricked up crisis on our hands. Uh, all right, so let's make sure everything... Good lord. Good lord, this is going to be rough in a minute here, guys. All right, so we'll put... Uh, two new cookhouses out here we're going to have to 
dismantle this 24 hour one pretty soon here and put some some housing although we're a ways away from tier three but we might have to have some really cold people on the exterior now uh, we might just have to start spamming the houses and go tents times one two three four five six seven yeah oh wild this is crazy all right those people are going to be quite uncomfortably cold strangers on the horizon another group of refugees on the way they spotted a ship at landing site we should investigate landing site you thought white pass was far away I think landing sites out here so let's let's do this while we got these scouts out here we'll be able to go out and take a look if that is landing site it takes a second for us to be able to see it obviously could they be refugees like us oh most definitely most definitely most definitely okay infirmary researched okay and that means we really got to get going on the thing how do i get generator range three Generator range 3 is all the way down here. Generator range 2. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Upgrade. And then the next thing we do is that. I shouldn't be wasting my time on the flying hunters. I haven't had the... I haven't installed a single flying hunter yet. Uh, we got to get some people working on wood. Uh, so let's do that. And reopen the, the sawmill. Let's do that. We got both the coal mines are open. Both the steel mills are open. And I still got a supply of people. Okay, so the temperature just got a heck of a lot warmer. Right, beautiful. So let's go on this. Kill that. Okay, thank gosh. Okay, okay. So now we have two new, uh, two new cookhouses. We're going to get rid of this one. We're going to fill that last spot on the inside. We're going to have to do some road rearranging out here. Something like that all right and we need to put some people to work get to work you guys are on a 24 hour perfect all right and we're housing for everybody good lord okay and time for what was that noise more research i thought that was the old research noise So only 17 hours left. Okay, that's 36 more people. Scouts have reached the aircraft wreck. Avalanche survivors found. That's the Black Sp Spire crew. Okay, so you are out here. While you're here, let's explore. Huge aircraft. So these guys are now carrying with them four steam cores, and they are headed out even further. Go. Uh, this crew is going to hurry to... Do we really need to welcome, hurry people back? I don't, probably not. Let's go work our way out of here. Let, let those people take their time getting back. Okay, so I got 22 homeless, but I'm about to build. Uh, that road is complete, so let's go remove the old road. Dismantle right here. And more hunter huts would be wise. So let's go health infirmary. We want to get rolling. Um, I'll figure that out once we have... Infirmary can probably go here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get housing, people, tent. Uh, so we have this little gap right here. If we play our cards right, we can put another one like that. Is that how badly is that going to mess things up? I think that might be perfect. Is that the exact size for the infirmary? The infirmary requires a steam core, by the way, guys. So be very careful deciding to add these. It's not quite perfect. Um, nothing is going to fit perfectly there. So let's just go ahead and do this. And we're going to have some weird little spacing, but that house is going to act like it's on the in inner circle. Once the infirmary is up, I can get rid of some other stuff. How much time to feed all the hungry? Uh, let's do it. Uh, let's go... So that's, okay, first time using it. That is the cooldown. And we go here, we go here, and boom. 
and heaters on. Foreman, the facility will be increased efficiency for 24 hours. Probably good to use that in conjunction with a 24-hour thing. I gotta get the people mechanical calculators researched. Here, generator range upgrade, boom. And we're a couple days away from another heat drop. We should be okay on that front. Okay, time for another law. Okay, last time we passed the soup law. That goes well. People are less upset about soup if you give them Fighting Arena Public House Moonshine. But I don't know if we need to stress about that tier. Maybe we can go take a look at the order tier and see what's cracking down here. And got this episode going fast, guys. Guard stations? No. Do we do it? You know what? I don't know what to do. Okay, screw it. Let's give people the fighting arenas. We'll find room to put those in. New law. A new law has passed. Okay, people. People who are hungry. What you doing? Going to work. Going to eat. Working. Working. How much time? Go eat. Two hours left. Go eat, please. Time 3 p.m. You gotta stay open late. Please go eat. People, go eat. There's food. Please go eat. Please go eat. Please go eat. I'm gonna fail. Eat the food from the place. Working. Why are you all working? Eat. Eat. Go eat. Select. Wall drill. Stop working. Go eat, Mar Mark. Oh, I'm going to fail. Time left. 13 minutes. Too late. God dang it, everybody, so much food in a dang 161 ration. See, this is why I always say no. Next time you ever say feed the people, I'm saying no. Look at that. Hope falls, discontent rises. Screw you, game. Let's heat some homes. Let's heat all the homes. Ugh, two days. Well, if I do some, I can do all. Not yet, I can't. Okay, I'll take it. Give me my discontent. That's fine. I don't want to make promises I'm going to be forced to fall apart on again. Stupid. Stupid mess. I hate that, guys. F eat the dang food, people. Await the incoming refugee groups. One more coming. A drunken outburst. This is why you need the guard stations. There goes my hope. Okay, things are starting to look a little dire. Go eat, Mark. Stop working and eat. Okay? It's after 6 p.m. Why have you still not eaten? Jeez Louise. I guess you gotta pay attention to the timing of those, accepting those laws, maybe? Or of those promises? Alright, so we need the extended range out here. Um, okay, so we got the new infirmary. Um, I think that means we can go ahead and dismantle these two here. And... Uh, here and that'll free up some engineers. I got more people that I know what to do with right now Okay, so working working. Uh, I guess we get going on uh... Well, let's let's get building Second infirmary maybe I know we have to deal with a lot of sick as the story goes on Okay Okay, so I gotta lower the discontent. People are very upset with me. <laughs> uh, okay, so how, how, ways to lower the discontent. Let's take a look and find our emergency shift. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, you guys can just go back to work in a regular shift. Same with the sawmill. Yep. Okay, regular shift. Uh, this place, I shouldn't have clicked it. I thought that might help. Okay, regular shift, regular shift. You guys are on an extended. And let's go ahead and add in one more of the tech workshop. That can go here for now. 
Uh, and we got how many people incoming? 15 more. Okay, and let's give our people a fighting arena or several. So let's go here. All right, guys, good news. I have managed to avoid the uh, riot <laughs> and the very upset people. Uh, we are avoiding too many emergency shifts right now. Generator range three is going to be a game changer. It will keep everyone warm. And once again, we will want to start moving some of this stuff out and making room for more houses. We do have a lot more refugees on the way. 71 people I need to put to work right now. My problem is wood. So I've got this thing cranked with the foreman. And you know what? Since I've solved things, let's throw that discontent back on there. Um, and then maybe we go back to this thing right here and we extend the shift and give you guys another 24 hour work shift. I'll deal with the discontent. I can get it back under control again. I'm sure I can. And we gotta get these hunter huts up. Uh, we'll be able to slap out hunter huts as soon as those uh, things start pumping out uh, wood, which is perfect. Uh, and then we can, okay, let's go here. All right, explore, carry on. So it is a landmark to a coal mine and to an iron bank. Interesting. I wonder what that iron bank is for. Coal mine. That that should be a way if... Okay, so the, the way that iron bank... Uh, sorry, the coal mine will work is if we go here, check out research, and beyond research, we go to exploration outpost depot. Then we can put together a team that will go set up an, a coal mine, and the coal is one of the best ones if that's what that is. If that is a way to set up a coal depot out there. Yeah, all is well. Okay, so now we can slap in more hunter huts. And I got a road coming in out here. And I'm upgrading some of these to hunter hangers, which is uh, the, the flying hunters, which is amazing. And we'll go ahead and do that. Beautiful. 10 hours left of this. Why so little? Okay, so the next thing we got to research is the next tier up of coal plants or something to help with coal. Um, we're going to have to put you guys back on your emergency shift. Crap, I can't afford to do that right now, can I? Alright, so another thing you can do when you have this uh, overload of people, like I have right now, is to... So this is one way to do it. This is going to employ most of the people that I wanted to employ. What is that? Six? Yeah, six new workplaces. So that's fine uh, at 10 apiece. But the other thing you can do is do the coal thumper. So generator range three. All right, check this thing out. Boom. Okay, so where can I save? All right, and as we need it, this stuff, all these, red, all these buildings here in this outer tier, except maybe the infirmary, uh, are going to come out and make room for more housing. But I wonder how I'm doing right now on the housing front. 29 vacant beds. That is not bad. All right, guys. So we are currently awaiting the arrival of our final group. They're seven hours away. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to call this one here. Um, I am just about the same length I got into the last one. I think I spent more time being silent, so this should be around the same length, guys. But this is part two of our playthrough of the refugees. Our population has spiked from a humble, what do we start at, 43 to 321. If you enjoy, click the like button and hit me up in the comments. I've decided to do this. Hold on, guys. This is very important. I've decided to do this as a series uh, after having so much fun live streaming it and getting myself hooked on this game. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. All right. Thank you for watching. I am UTC. Click the playlist popping up on your screen right now to watch more. And I will be back in your life in part three.